day 65. So, pressure washed, porch, everything's good. Drilled the weep holes this morning. Was planning on it taking a whole good hour to drill. 60 inches of hole took about eight minutes so yeah I was all geared up and it didn't need to be son helped me vacuum it out carry some stuff vacuumed up what I did and blew out the holes. I are waiting for some rain, but there are some cracks and places in the mortar joints that I really don't want to fuck with. I honestly don't want to dig with it. So what I'm going to do is put down the water repellent or the, the sealer water repellent and revisit the missing mortar. It's mostly cosmetic. So, uh, it's, it's just, you know, like you said, it's a stupid shit that surprises around every corner Wonka world little surprises around every corner but nothing dangerous yeah, it's all dangerous that's a good looking glide so right now I'm on my way to work it's about 10 till 12 I'm going to stop and get myself some lunch Mailing out a couple patches for the Cool Kids Club. Team Ace. Then head to work. So yesterday, God, dude, yesterday was a fucking it was a nightmare. I left work, or I left for work. Then. I'm trying to get a new lunchbox. I'm trying to figure out which one I want. I've had, you know, construction. I've had the, you know, the playmates, the lunch mates. I've had the, you know, the lift top. I've had the big ones, the small ones. They're, they all have their use depending on the time of year. But now I am leaving and I got you know, the, the soft sided because of all the pockets I think I've talked about this one so I want to know what I'm getting but I want to get one that I can just wipe off just hose off disinfect because it's easier to clean I don't I don't know what's clinging on to this thing because I want to and I want to leave my lunchbox out in my car while I'm in at work and I need something a little bit more insulative properties. This one is good for you know, a couple hours of whatever, but I need something that's going to be a little bit more uh, insulated. So I'm leaning toward the Stanley. They're, they're not cheap, but they're good. They're durable. And I I'm a fan of the Stanley brand. I have several pieces of Stanley goods. Thermos. Uh, had several thermoses. One I lost. Actually, I think I've had three, three of the Stanley thermoses. Yeah, the classic coffee thermos. And then I have one 
short thermos, you put whatever in for like soups and stuff. And that thing, four hour, four or five hours of sitting in my cooler, it doesn't radiate heat. And when you open it up, it's still like it just came out the pot, like chili or something. So that's pretty cool. So I need that on my in my lunchbox to be in my car because working second shift, you show up in the middle of the afternoon, hottest part of the day happens while I'm inside. And I don't want to have happen what happened yesterday. Uh, my wife packed me some spinach dip. And I opened it up and I couldn't eat a spinach dip. I, I mean, I probably could have, but... Uh-uh. Pass. So... Anyway, yesterday... So, with that... God damn it. I was thinking... I was getting on the highway. I'm thinking, oh, okay, lunchbox. Alright, how am I gonna... Because I keep my ID and everything in there. I keep it separate. I, I want... You know, I'm gonna have to change my habit, my style, of you know, my routine, which is fine once I get into a different routine and modify it. It's just right now, my routine is broken because I haven't found a good system yet. And in thinking that, I was thinking, you know, I'm, I keep my ID in my pocket and you know, blah, blah, blah dawned on me I didn't have my work ID which is fine for a one-off kind of gig I, I could go to register at security they give me a temporary ID I clock in there clock out return it blah 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 but I, I would rather have my ID so I turned around went home still had you know I leave like a half hour early earlier than I really need to which because of traffic or unknown things and things Oof. so I'm making it to work everything I come home get it turn around go out go back and get downtown Cincinnati and the bridge is locked up motherfucker all the way up into Kentucky because you can see coming around the bend there you can see up onto the bridge and if I can still see traffic stopped there that means up the hill is fucked so I decided to go back through downtown and get on 471 to 275 and around which was fine until I got near like two exits before 75 and traffic was kind of backed up not knowing that they are redirecting and redoing the on ramps to two or to 75 and that traffic was backed up because it needed to go to 75 and i was just kind of blowing past it like fuck miles of it probably like three miles of traffic oh no I'm getting it's like I gotta clock in in 10 minutes so I went down by the airport a couple extras before the airport went back around the back way and it was just normal busy afternoon traffic and I I clocked in I'm supposed to clock in at 1.30 I clocked in at 1.30 and that was a little unnerving. I, didn't, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. To me, that meant I was late. Because when you show up, the time that you're supposed to be there, you still have the, the, you know, the social pleasantries and the setting up and the, the reorientation of you know, finding out, you know, finding your your groove and all that. No, that all takes time. And if you show up, like in construction, if you show up at 7.30, you pull in the parking lot at 7.30. Most of our jobs were 6.30 or 7 or 7.30. I like 
So if, if I'm supposed to be there at 6.30, and if I pull in the parking lot and get out of my car at 6.30, I am late. Because I see it. You know, when I was foreman, I was in charge. If you showed up on my job at 6.30, that you're, you're late. You are supposed to be at my print table or my gang box or you know, wherever our gathering spot is at the designated time and ready to go. Because if I say, okay, it's 6.30, we need to get on this now. You need to pick up your shit and go. If you're just walking in the door, there's a couple minutes of, oh, well, I left my thing in the car. I got to go back and get it. Oh, I left the, I, you know, that's 15, 20 minutes of time that has lost. And not only that, if you're working with a partner, if you lose 15 minutes, you cause the loss of a half hour, possibly even more, because that mood that sets the tone for the rest of the day I think to some and if you're just kind of starting the day off all fucky and wonky the rest of the day just falls not in some superstitious thing it's just you get the you know, locked in your mind it's like ah, you're always behind you never catch up so it's it's just a no go it's, it's a non it's no, not, not a good so, I don't like it. So, yep, yesterday was a mess. So, I'm going to go stop in here, grab me some eats, order me a lunchbox, hit the road. Well, I'm going to hit the road and order me a lunchbox. Yeah, that's the thing. All right, well, fuck off. I got shit to do.